I've been looking for are likely to be A-levels, possibly slightly higher, uh, maybe a, a first couple of rounds of accounting exams or a desire to do the first couple of rounds of accounting exams. By that, I mean ACCA or SEMA, maybe, um, or more fully qualified in AAT. Um, I think there is a level of business acumen required which needs that broad range of accounting skills to have been received already. It's a tough job to do on the job when you haven't got any previous accounting experience. Really, I'd be looking again for a, a, a good basic education, uh, not necessarily a degree. If they have an accounting qualification, for example, I would look for SEMA because it's very business relevant. Uh, that would be my preference in that kind of role. Maybe a qualified or a part qualified, depending on the level of the role. If it was a business degree I was looking at, I'd be looking for some kind of relevant topic. Um, so that, that would really be the basic minimum I'd look for. The qualifications I'll be looking for are again around their sort of mathematical and analytical skills. I think strong A-levels in maths or sciences uh, or a degree with an element of science or mathematics in it as an engineering degree give you indications that somebody will be comfortable working with numbers. For a business analyst I think I'd be looking for a STEM subject taken at school or, or, or university and then ideally something after that that's a qualification around data analysis. Good numerical skills, good numeracy skills are, are, are a given so you would need to see that in the in the academic record and I think the uh, the nature of the role and the and the kind of level that it's operating at, you'd be looking for somebody who was a reasonable way down their uh, account, you know, professional accountancy qualifications. SEMA qualification, uh, where the part qualified and understands a wider spectrum of what the rolling requires and how they need to react and make uh, sense of the numbers that they produce. I'd be looking for them to have definitely started down the route towards a, a professional finance qualification of some sort. Um, you know, and, and I must admit, I don't think I'd be particularly bothered what that was, but I'd, I'd, I'd want to see somebody has started and that they've, you know, knocked over a couple of the exams and they're progressing through that route. A degree or an MBA. Um, they need that so they can conform to business practices in both a formal and an informal situation.